Organizational Behavior Study Design and Methodology Abstract Organizational behavior is a critical issue for many companies. The domain covers the three levels to be considered when assessing employee performance, which are the individual member level, the working teams and units, and the level of the personnel. The proposed study will enable companies to reassess the degree of work dedication and to facilitate such practices that will enable firms to sustain the competitive edge through employee stimulation on all three levels. Importantly, the study will engage in both primary and secondary data collection. The analysis of the secondary data will be expanded through the primary data. The methods of qualitative research will be used to gather detailed information about the deep beliefs, opinions, and motives of the employees and theoretical triangulation will be applied to test the validity of the obtained results. The phenomenon under study will be evaluated in its relation to varied concepts proposed by scientists and theorists. Notably, the feasibility of the proposed study design is justified due to the nature of the essential data, the high accessibility of secondary sources, and the possibility of surveying the Internet. Research Design and Methodology The notion of organizational behavior is one of the most urgent and critical issues in modern companies. The concept enables leadership to appraise and analyze the conduct of employees and take the corresponding measures to boost performance. Importantly, the organizational behavior of employees should be assessed at three interconnected levels, which are the individual member level, the working teams and units, and the level of the personnel. The purpose of the proposed study is to research the key methods and techniques through which leadership could enhance organizational behavior on all three levels respectively. It has been hypothesized that it is possible to increase the motivation of employees solely through the compilation of both material and psychological factors. Thus, conducting the current study will enable enterprises to reevaluate the level of employee work commitment and to provide them with guidelines to sustain the competitive edge through employee stimulation. Notably, the research will allow dwelling upon a new significant perspective in that matter, which is an enhanced employee motivation achieved by simultaneous material and spiritual stimulation. Data when conducting a study, researchers frequently rely on either primary or secondary data. The relevance of one of the data types over another is defined by the purposes for which they were collected. Primary data is the information that has been collected for analysis to provide evidence or justification for the proposed research objectives of the ongoing study. Meanwhile, secondary data is the information collected in the conditions of other studies. Respectively, they serve as a platform for the solution of problems, which may differ from the initial research. However, both primary and secondary data will be used in this study. To be more precise, the study will begin with an analysis of the secondary data, and they will be specified or extended further by collecting the primary data. Research Methods and Limitations the methods of qualitative research will be used to conduct this study to gather detailed information about the particular beliefs, opinions, and motives of the employees. Then, the influence and significance of these characteristics will be studied in terms of the company's organizational behavior. Conducting the qualitative research will provide an immediate response and information from the respondents' standpoints. One of the crucial characteristics of this method of research is the small sampling size. Accordingly, it is necessary to determine the size of the sample group for the results to be relevant. In the course of the study, an intensive interview, in the form of a survey, with a small number of employees will be conducted to observe such a picture of their opinions and motivations that is more complete. The gathering of information will contribute to the confirmation or restatement of the research hypotheses, and it will help to understand the way employees express their thoughts to get a thorough comprehension of the relationship between emotions perceptions, opinions, and the domain of organizational behavior of the employees. However, it is essential to emphasize the existing disadvantage of this research method, which is the limited generalizability of the results. In that matter, it will be possible to conclude the validity of the outcomes of the members of this particular study. The small sample size is not conducive to obtaining a quantitative description of the results, which may be important from a statistical point of view. Thus, the interpretation of the data collected and analyzed by qualitative research is more subjective than the interpretation of the quantitative data. 
testing validity. As discussed above, the possible limitation of the study is the lack of opportunity to obtain statistically significant results. For the study outcomes to be considered valid, it would be necessary to apply theoretical triangulation. It aims to explain the phenomenon under study in terms of the different concepts put forward by scientists and theorists. In discussing the results, it will be possible to combine several logical approaches and theoretical concept discourse. The combination of theories will allow confirming or expanding the results. To verify the relevance of the outcomes in the course of the research, the theoretical perspective of the study was identified, and the appropriate instructional techniques and data were selected. Data Collection Timeframe and Feasibility The convenience of the qualitative research method is reflected in the fact that it can be implemented faster and cheaper than a quantitative study. The objective of the current research is to meet the informational needs that are of non-numerical, statistical character, as per the company size, and there is no need to generalize the data at this stage of academic research. Consequently, the time frame of such a study and the expenditures will be minimal. In addition, as discussed above, the study will use both primary and secondary data. Regarding the secondary data, the information gathering will not be costly because extensive research has been carried out on the topic of organizational behavior, and the theoretical base is quite rich. The required information can be obtained from various databases and academic resources. In addition, it will be possible to summon the information from reliable sources available at the educational institution. Therefore, the feasibility of the proposed research methodology can be justified due to the nature of the required data, high accessibility of the secondary sources, and an opportunity to survey the Internet. In case there is a need to survey a person, the only expense to consider will be printing out the materials.